Give it up for Mina. According to most people in Dubai, my name isn't exactly towards my gender. You usually find my name as a female human being, as you say. Well, when growing up, it was a very difficult thing to grow up with a female name. Like, um, I remember this one time when I was in seventh grade. I was uh, going to school to get my uniform. It was my first day in a new school, and I wanted to have a new reputation, yeah? So, I was really excited for that school day, so people just, it's not exaggerated, but I swear it happened, yeah? I went to the uniform store and I asked them to get my sizes. I was so sure of my sizes, I didn't even want to try out the uniform. So I'm like, okay, forget it, tomorrow, next day, I'll just try it out. If it's too large, I'll just, tomorrow, next day, I'll just exchange it. So, what happens next is that next morning, I wake up late for school, so I didn't have time to like, I, was, I wasn't in my set, so I just wore my uniform, washed up and ran to the car. Now on my way to school, yeah, I'm just like, why is there a breeze? I, I don't know, yeah, the ship was like really loose. I, I don't know what to do. Anyways, I'm, I get out of the car and I find out that there's like a gaping hole in my pants. And it was weird, right, because I, okay, I'm like, okay, this must be the uniform for all the other students, yeah? I go in. I find all the guys wearing pants, and all the girls are wearing the same uniform I'm wearing. Like, oh, I'm wearing a skirt. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was good until I found out which class I was in. Because I wanted to go and report them, to, to report the uniform and get exchanged. Yeah, I get pants and a shirt. But they said that it was all out. So I had to wait till the next day. I was stuck with this uniform for the whole day. And what makes it better is that I was stuck in the girls class the entire day because my name was registered as a female. So I went up to 7G and I sat there and at that time I had like really long hair because my mom thought I looked good in long hair. And I was like really fat too, yeah, so no one could make out if I was a guy or a girl. <laughs> so I just went up to my class and just sat in the back row, hoped that they would get over and just leave, yeah? Next thing you know, I'm just putting my head down, praying to God that the day gets over. The teacher takes the attendance, and then it comes down to my name, and she goes like, uh, why are you in this class? I'm like, I don't know, uh, they told me to come to this class. And she goes like, but you're a boy. I'm like, thank you, you're the only one who realized. And she goes like, and then all the other girls in the class look at me like I'm a weird stalker. You know, what's a guy doing in a girl's class? So uh, next thing you know, they send me to the guy section, and I had to stay the whole day in a skirt and a blouse while guys thought that I was just a really ugly girl all day. Um, what makes matters worse is that every single day I would have to go to the locker, like see the girls were separated on one side of the school and the guys were separated in a different type of school. And that's your time. Thank <laughs> that's you. Your time.